you guys asked. So here it is, a flip through of what your kindergartner needs to know and what your preschooler needs to know. Let's go. <laughs> Hey girly, my name is Wendy and I am a homeschooling stay at home mom of four little ones and on this channel I talk about productivity tips, methods and resources because peaceful presence can be found when we are good stewards of our time. We've used both what your preschooler needs to know and what your kindergartner needs to know for years. These are just excellent resources for easing into homeschool. So you can do just this and you'll be fine. Um, like you don't need to add all the extra frills and all the other stuff. It is very, very rich. Now, what your preschooler needs to know by um, E.D. Hirsch Jr. and Linda Belvilla <laughs> um, teaches about literature, music, history, science, and the arts, okay? Now, what your kindergartner needs to know um, talks about literature, mathematics, history, science, and the arts, okay? So this is co from Core Knowledge, and so we'll go ahead and turn the camera around and flip through them. So what your preschooler needs to know has poems. Okay, so not only poems, but each poems has different sections. So you've got just regular poems here. Then you've got section of rhyming poems, clap alongs, finger plays, move arounds, and beginning sounds. You've got songs, stories, history, science, art, and what parents of preschoolers need to know. So this is just a brief introduction about um, what parents need to know about school readiness, research on the important of the, importance of the preschool years, and the Core Knowledge School Readiness Program. Then it goes right into the poems. So it's got quite a few poems, skipping around here a little bit. And it's full of a little, it has a little picture with each poem, which is helpful, keeps their attention. Then it goes into the songs. And we sing these songs. The songs are always my children's favorites. And it's good because sometimes when your child is not in preschool and you're not a natural preschool teacher, it's hard to remember, oh yeah, he needs to know, you know, Five Little Ducks and Lazy Mary and John Jingle Hyber Smith and, you know, I Know an Old Lady and all these, You Are My Sunshine and all these different cute little songs that all the um, preschoolers tend to know. Then it goes into stories. Now these stories are like Goldilocks and the Three Bears and um, the Gingerbread Man. This is my son's favorite. The Little Red Hen, that's mommy's favorite. I can relate to her, feel her pain. The Three Little Pigs. That's also a favorite. How turtles got their shell. This is one of our family favorite. Why flies buzz so good. Love that one. The line in the mouse. The city mouse and the country mouse. That one's cute too. Then it goes into history. Now, a lot of the times, my preschoolers 
honestly, especially my three-year-olds, they're not ready for the history portion. I usually end up doing the history portion more so with my four-year-olds. The first Americans, new American friends, sailing to America, an American holiday. So it's just like reading quick history sections. Then science, we definitely do do science. So animals are all our living things. Animals move in different ways. Animals eat plants. This is one of our favorites when we talk about frogs. The pictures are nice and bright and colorful and almost realistic, like as if they're coming out of the page. So I love that. Sorry if you hear my, my neighbor. Okay, so that's art, now it's art. Talking about different arts, Noah's Ark, I thought that was cute. The new pets, the different paintings, it talks about different paintings and you ask questions about them, like how many people are in this paintings and what can you see around them and stuff like that. So you get your children looking at, you know, rich art, but in a way that they can understand it. So it, asks, it helps guide you in those questions. And then the what parents of preschoolers need to know section. Choosing a preschool for your child. So check the different physical environments, the staff and stuff like that. So this is if you're putting your child in school. Is your child ready for kindergarten? Different things that you wanna look out for to see if your child is ready, the importance of reading aloud to your child, and how to start and go about that. Enjoying music with your preschooler. And then great books for preschoolers. So additional like list of preschool books that you can, can do. And then rhyming, history, science, books, music for preschoolers, and that's that. Now the kindergarten one. All right, so what your kindergartner needs to know. The table of contents. So it talks about language and literature. So those are the different um, building literacy at home, literature, and then familiar and favorite poems that it goes through, and then um, it goes through Aesop's fables, stories, two, tale, two tall tales, sayings, and then we go into history and geography. And then visual arts, music, Mathematics, science. So the, the kindergarten one is a lot more rich. Okay, language and literature. Just gives you a little bit about why it's important. So that's just a, a more information about the core, the common core standards for your child and how it's good to balance fiction and nonfiction and just different things like that. Just, just all parent information. And then just how you can build literacy at home, like by limiting TV, TV time, talking to your child, reading to them, that kind of stuff. Choose activities that build background knowledge, uh, be a reader, raise a reader type things, if you want to learn more. So just further things 
more so for you as the parent. Um, then it starts off. with the poem. Time to rise, happy thought. Um, Hickory Dickory Dock. Little Bo Peep. All the poems. Then it goes into Aesop's Fables. The dog in his shadow, the lion and the mouse, the hare and the tortoise, the grasshopper and the ants. And then it goes into stories. The three little pigs, Goldilocks and the three bears, the three billy goats gruff, Mama, Mamo Taro, Peach Boy, The Little Red Hen, Chicken Little, Little Red Riding Hood. So as you can see, it's a lot more words than the preschool one, a lot less pictures. The Story of the Jumping Mouse. Also, there are bold words because they want them to make, um, those bold words, there tends to be like, for example, the bold words, there tend to be like, you can make a connection. So for example, show your child the picture of the plains on page 175. Some Native Americans lived on the plains. So you're reading the story, but then they give you different sections where you can make connections, especially when it comes to the science section or the history section. So for example, new word, does your child know what a word cottage is? And so explain that a cottage is a small, simple house. So it guides you in reading the story so that you're not just reading a story to them, but that you're also taking into account vocabulary and history and geography and all these other things. I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. Got the ugly ducklings, which is a lot of stories. Because there's a heavy, there's a heaviness on language and literature. Then it goes into sayings. So different say a April showers bring May flowers. Better safe than sorry, and then it explains more about that saying. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you, and then it does a little story, and it um, just fosters a discussion. A dog is a man's best friend, the early bird gets the worm, all that stuff. Going into history and geography. Planet Earth, talking about oceans, continents, Maps and globes, Earth's seven continents. Which way are you going? Talking about Northeast, never eat soggy waffles. <laughs> the North South Poles, the seven continents, more diving deeper into that. Asia, Europe, we're gonna go into each continent and give a little bit of information about each continent. Then we're gonna go into American history and geography to learn more about your country. So we're talking about the American flag, Native Americans, all the things, Christopher Columbus. So it's gonna start with history. History for me is a little intense for a kindergartner, but um, yeah, we skim it. So this is like a very gentle history if you wanted to do history for kindergarten. Not completely free. 
presidents of the United States, George Washington and the Cherry Tree, Thomas Jefferson, the Idea Man, Theodore Roosevelt. Okay. Then it goes into visual arts. Talking about different paintings as well as how to paint and all the things, lines and patterns. So it's not just a reading type curriculum. It is very much has activities and it's very guided in questions and things like that. Very much somewhat Charlotte Mason approach. Going to music. Talking about different instruments listening to music and moving your body, following the beat, seeing different songs, loud and quiet clap, making up beats, loud songs, quiet sounds, loud drums, quiet drumming, fast and slow, high and low. And then we go into favorite songs like Bingo and Go In and Out, Hush Little Baby, and it keeps going. skip ahead a little bit then we go into mathematics patterns and classifications so we do different activities the first activity is going to be co collecting things by likeness the next one's going to be sorting everyday objects then we're going to go into a like and different shape shape sorting activities and so it gives you the different acti math activities to do with your child you're gonna make a shape train potato prints so it's a very hands-on book more play with patterns then we go into numbers and number sense and it's the same activity driven um, activity driven section in order to reinforce that core knowledge of numbers. So very much a hands-on approach to doing math. Full of activities. Then we talk about money and then once again more activities to reinforce that money concept for your core for your child's core knowledge. Then computation. measurements just a bunch of different activities to teach your child how to measure so here they're measuring with their hands here they're measuring whether a cup is empty half full or um, a quarter of a way full geometry now we're going to science Talk about plants and plant growth. Talking about seeds. They have different activities, once again, that you can do with your child. What do plants need to grow? And so this is the what your plants need to grow experiment. So you're gonna be doing experiments with them. Seeds to eat seasons and weather animals and their needs the human body taking care of the earth An invisible force, magnetism. Stories and scientists. So it's talking about different scientists. And that's it. I hope that this was helpful. This can be a full, like, 
standalone curriculum within itself to get your child ready for kindergarten. And that. I hope that was helpful. If you have any additional questions about either one of these curriculums, leave it for me down in the comments and I'll make sure to answer it. If you'd like to see a playlist just of all of our homeschool choices, click the card right here. Until next time, bye.